Hello! If you're new to the channel, I usually talk about Irish folklore, traditional storytelling, and occasionally I talk about my fucked up eye. This is one of those times where I talk about my fucked up eye. Because this is the Cyclops Chronicles. Something I don't mention an awful lot on here is that I am dyspraxic. Now dyspraxia is a form of neurodivergence. It is a neurological processing disorder. Usually people are born with dyspraxia and that's the case with me. A dyspraxia is often misunderstood as just affecting coordination. And while it definitely does have drastic effects on coordination on both gross and fine motor control, it also affects all other things that require mental processing. That includes things like speech, emotional regulation, basically everything. Everything. Yeah, dyspraxia affects everything. If your brain controls it, dyspraxia affects it. Now, why am I bringing up dyspraxia in relation to my fucked up eye? Is he looking at the world through only one eye? Is supposed to cause problems with coordination, spatial awareness, and balance. However, when I started wearing my eye patch, I didn't notice any problems with those things. None at all. The thing is that not only does looking at the world through only one eye cause those problems, so does dyspraxia. I also recently learned through fellow dyspraxic YouTuber, Crystal Bella, that dyspraxia can sometimes cause problems with depth perception, which is something else I've noticed I haven't had very much trouble with since I started using eye patches. Really only on very small scale. I sometimes have difficulty lighting candles and that kind of thing, but anything bigger than that hasn't been a problem for me. So I think what's been going on here is that after a lifetime of having this neurological disorder that causes me problems in the, in the realms of coordination, balance, spatial awareness, and depth perception, I've been trained. I've been trained from a lifetime of already having problems with those things. And I'm now equipped for life with an eye patch as a result. I kind of like to picture it as being a little bit like this. <laughs> you have no power here, Gandalf the Grey. So it's just interesting to see how my two disabilities are interacting and one of them is kind of cancelling out the other a little bit. Not, not completely, but just kind of like actively helping me to alleviate some of the effects of the other one. It's interesting and it's, it's in a way kind of heartening because while the social model of disability isn't 100% accurate, it does have merits. I think this is one of the ways in which you can see those merits. My dyspraxia has equipped me to be, to, to be in a better position for my keratoconus than I may have been without it. And I think that's something that gets overlooked with disability a lot. Disabilities aren't always about drawbacks and negative effects, though they do always exist as well. They sometimes provide benefits and they sometimes give us advantages in, in certain ways, in certain ways, just as there are some ways that being neurotypical actually holds people back a little bit and nobody wants to talk about that so yeah yeah that's 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 
that's the thing. That's what I wanted to talk about. It's just interesting. Okay, bye.